free open source virtual offices. That's what Lemverse is and that's what we're going to be checking out today. Stick around. So this is where you start out at uh, when you've created your account and you're no longer a ghost. So what you'll want to do is uh, hover the mouse over your person, go to the settings, go to the character editor and just customize your little fella. Uh, after that, you can edit your profile, add some information about yourself. And that's useful um, because when people hover over you and go to your profile, uh, they will see your information. Um, you could also leave voice messages to people. Um, so you can click on that and send a voice message. You can follow them and you can send love to those people, um, which is very nice. Some other cool things, if you go to the reactions and you can actually choose which emoji um, to use and then these are binded to hotkeys so you can, you know, send emojis via hotkeys. So yeah, that's it uh, for the settings. Let's jump in and see the cool stuff they have made in the Lemverse and more specifically the Lempire office. So Lampire is the company that uh, is developing this software and these are actually their company offices and uh, most of the people are in here like full time uh, just when they're doing their office job they are actually in here because they work remotely. Um, so let's check out their little offices. Um, so you go into their office. Um, one interesting thing they've done here is an interview room. So because they're using it at the moment, they've uh, walled it off, but usually you could just walk in and um, start a one-on-one -on -one call with someone if someone else was in there. Uh, so that's really interesting because they're actually using Limverse to use and host their actual interviews rather than using Google Meet, which is a really cool um, way to do it and um, a lot more fun. Um, next up, we have the conference room. So here, if you jump in, you go into the correct zone. Uh, you're muted and your camera's off because you're a viewer for the moment. Uh, so whilst you're in the chairs, you're just a viewer. And they've set it up so that if you walk up and go to the podium, your camera turns on automatically and your mic is unmuted. So you can talk to everyone in the conference room. Um, so that's really neat and yeah, they've got three little zones for this and once you step out You're no longer a speaker So then they've just got some more co-working spaces a gym uh, bedrooms and A kitchen very important They also have phone booths, which is pretty neat. Uh, you can just walk into them if you don't want to be uh, disturbed and it will mute and turn off your camera for you. Uh, so that's a nice way to do it. Um, and otherwise, if you have your microphone unmuted and your camera is on, you can just walk up to anyone who has those same settings and start talking with them. <laughs> Bonjour. Bonjour. Salut. Salut. Uh, so, yeah. You can uh, talk to random people. Um, if this was your uh, own offices, uh, those would be like your co-workers. So it's a nice way to have more natural uh, interactions with your remote co-workers. Um, so here they've just got their, their open space. Um, if you press on T, oh no, it's not T, it's enter. Um, this zone here uh, is marked out as the Lem Plateau. So if I walk on it, you can see it up here. And if you press enter, you can then start sending messages and um, it'll be saved in the chat. So that's a nice little text uh, messaging system. Uh, if you don't want to, um, to, yeah, to use voice, um, voice calls. Uh, what else have they got here? Little filming room. Um, so yeah, I guess it's, just, guess it's just another conference room in a different style. Maybe when they're recording their videos, they go into this one rather than the conference room. Um, and then that's a reserve zone for, so that's reserved just for the people of the company. Um, and then they've got these other little chill rooms, a Japanese styled room, <laughs> uh, 
Um, they've got a yellow couch room, server rooms, and uh, conference rooms, or boardrooms, should I say. So yeah, uh, we'll have the different usage, usages. Um, and you can actually set this up on their website too. Um, so let me show you how you can do that. So if you go back to the starting world, uh, you can enter the blue portal and on the right hit create and create a new level. And this is going to create your own world, which you can then edit. So you can enter a new world. It's going to look something like this. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty simple. And I'm going to show you some basic uh, editing tools. So as you created your own world, you're going to press E. This will bring up this interface. And here is basically all of the objects, um, the people at Lemverse, Lem Lompia have added um, and set up collisions. So you have a bunch of different stuff for different rooms, bathrooms, bedrooms, libraries, etc. Um, so that's all pretty neat. This sponge, I think it is, sponge emoji, um, is for the different tile type. Uh, but I don't think you have to worry about it uh, when you're just, you know, managing your own little world. Uh, they've sort of done it for you. Um, so you can create your world, create your offices um, as you like. You can control Z if you messed up um, your, your world and then you can delete stuff. Um, so if you want to delete stuff, you press uh, the zero key and then just um, this will delete the floor tiles. Um, as you can see here, when I uh, hover over it, you can see down below there's a zero and a number two. So the zero is the floor tile behind the bookcase. So if I press zero and click, it's going to delete the floor tile. If I press two, it'll delete the bookshelf. Um, so that's good for knowing, you know, which tile you want to actually delete. If you want to delete this tree and leave the grass, you can see it's number two, just press number two, number seven, six, and two, and you can keep the grass. So let's um, have a cut and I'm going to create a mini conference hall. So I've just quickly made this little conference room of course, it's not as nice as their one, but I did it in a rush. Um, but what we're going to do now is create a conference room. So if you enter it now, obviously nothing's happening. Um, but again, if you press E and click on this icon, you can add zones to your world. So you can see we've got a pop-in zone and the previous world zone. Um, so the pop-in world just does this little um, pop-up that says hello. And we're going to create our conference room zone. So you're going to click add a zone and it's created a zone for us. And you can see your pointer down on the bottom left moving around uh, for its coordinates. So I'm going to click on the top left of the room here and the bottom right. So here we've got our zone. You can then open up the options, give it a room name, conference room. And I believe that's going to be the name that pops up uh, on top here. Um, we've got a URL, a name, admin only. We don't want admin only. Uh, to the point endpoint, we're not, don't need that. Unmute, false, unhide, false, full screen, false, and just leave it as is. So what we've done is I did a room name and this is now became a conference room. So I've got um, mute and, un and the camera toggled off by default. Um, so if we head back in and add, first of all, we're gonna add a name. So conference room, let's see if that works. Conference room, okay, so the name uh, configures the pop-up. 
and we can now see conference conference room down here. Uh, so unhide and unmute are false. Uh, so that means when we go in, uh, nothing happens. We have to toggle manually the mute and unmute in the conference room. Okay, what we can do is create a zone inside this zone like they did for the speaker podiums. So we're gonna add a zone and let's just make it something like this. That should be all right. And uh, where is it? Da, da, da. Here we go. So the name, I'm gonna call it Podium Speakers. Um, I'm gonna leave the room name blank, I believe, and uh, unmute true, unhide true, save that. Let's have a look. So we go in, we're, we're muted and we can't see our camera. Head up to the podium. Ta da! We are unmuted and we can see ourselves and people will be able to hear us in the conference room as long as we are on the podiums. So that's pretty easy to set up and it's a really nice little touch to your office space. So the phone booths for them in their offices was just a place where you're automatically muted and your camera was turned off so that no one could disturb you. So let's set that up here with these uh, sofas. So you're gonna come into the zone menu again, add a zone. You're gonna click and define your zone, just like that. And go ahead and find it. Uh, let's just give it a name. Um, Sofa, let's just call it a chill sofa. Um, because we don't want to be disturbed. And where is it? Disable communications, true. Save that. If I walk in, automatically muted and the camera is blocked so no one can uh, start a call with you and walk up to you and start talking to you whilst you're in that zone. If you want to set up uh, just a pure text channel like they did on their uh, limb plateau, you can add a zone here. Uh, just define your zone and find it again. And if you give it a room name, this is gonna make it a conference room and it'll start uh, the conference call as soon as you enter it. If you just leave a name, so let's just call it open space, this is just gonna leave it as a text only area. So here we go, you've got open space and then if you press enter, you know, you can you can start uh, messaging, sending messages to everyone who are inside the open space and only those people in this zone will get it. Another fun thing you can do is create um, split screens. Um, with the URL property. So here, if you open up the properties, uh, let's just call it a games room. This is what I set up in my own offices and it was pretty fun. Uh, and say, for example, just paste in Scribble.io. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, that wasn't it. Actually, yeah, it was use the URL property and it will open up that window in a split window. So here we go. And you can go ahead and play. Um, so that's pretty nice. You can, you know, set up games for your offices if you want to. Um, and that's all the zones um, that you can create at the moment. I think I've covered them all. So if you exit your world, you can go back to this portal and find it in this list. Um, they are public, so anyone can join your room at any time. So, you know, you can head into someone else's world um, and see what they've done. Um, but yeah, they're not private at the moment. So I hope this video helped you out in getting started with Limverse. I think it's a really cool bit of software and um, I'm keeping up to date on it with its Discord and the open source GitHub repository. In my next video, I'm going to show you how you can actually self-host 
your own offices uh, on a VPS. So that way um, you can have a bit more control if you want it to. You do need a more technical abilities, um, but you have your own control over it and, and you can limit access to who can actually join the server. But I'm pretty sure that'll come soon in the public version. Um, if you're non-technical, I definitely recommend just sticking to the app.lenverse.com as it's uh, the best way to, you know, have offices up and running really quickly. Um, but if you prefer to have more control uh, and use your own servers, then I will show you how. Thank you very much for watching. And if this video did help you out, leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.